Good afternoon, basketball fans and friends. I know that for many of you, um, you feel this, this announcement has been a long time in the making, so I appreciate your patience. I also know that for those of us involved, you won't actually believe this, we felt like the clock spun pretty quickly uh, from the time that we announced, got everything posted, um, and we're making the decision. Regardless of our sense of time, I'm happy to join you today to introduce Matt Reimer as St. Cloud State University's next men's basketball coach. Well, thank you, and uh, as most of you know, I'm, I'm not shy to be in front of a microphone, so I don't mind the, the stage here. Um, I can't thank you enough for everybody who showed up here today. Um, when I called my wife, uh, the emotion and joy that she sh showed and shared with me over the phone, I think Kevin probably heard the next office door, um, and it's just kind of been that way with people close to me that I've let know. And as I've gone through this whole process, the one thing that keeps coming back to me is how humbled I am by all the people that have supported not only our program, but right now in this particular time, myself with this position. And so I can't thank all of you enough for all the support and again I know that there's people who've done things that I don't know about and I can't thank all of you enough. I was perfectly comfortable with going through the process. You know people would say to me well you deserve this job because you've been there for 17 years and I would say well, I appreciate your sentiment but I want to earn the job. I want to be the next head basketball coach not because I've been here for a long time but because I'm the best candidate for the job at this particular time and I truly believe that. His de attention to detail is phenomenal and, and I thought I was a pretty organized person and, and was detailed, but he's above and beyond me, and, and I've learned that part of it. Um, the, the aspect of loyalty, um, you know, I learned that at a, a very young age. My father taught me that, you know, being loyal is, is, is something you have to do. It's not an option, and, and it's one of the best things you can do as an individual. And Kevin and Butch reinforced that, but in, in particular Kevin, in that, you know, he, when he first hired me, he said, your number one responsibility is to be loyal to me and make sure that you know you've got my back out in public and I said hey as long as we're winning I got you got my back all the way I'm with you all the way I said if we're down I don't know what he's doing I'm, I'm <laughs> through it all I, I'm very humbled and honored to be the next head coach I understand the responsibility that comes with this title our program has achieved many lofty goals and, and achieved a lot of different accomplishments over the years and I know that I'm gonna have to work extremely hard to maintain and try to improve upon that legacy that started way back with Red Severson, through, through Noel Olson, through Butch, th through Kevin, and now hopefully myself. So believe me, I, I understand the uh, responsibility that I've been given as a head coach here, and I really look forward to it. Yeah, without a doubt. I've told Kevin numerous times that, uh, you know, just because he's not going to be working here anymore doesn't mean he's still not at the top of the speed dial list on my phone, and, and I was calling him a great deal for advice. Yeah, I mean, again, the guy has been through the wars for many, many years and knows things a lot better than I do as I go through this. He'll be a great mentor for me, um, as Butch was for him those first couple of years. You, you rely on those guys to help you through those things, so definitely without a doubt. Um, I, I want someone who has the same values and, and respect. Again, loyalty will be the number one issue for whoever I hire. They've got to be loyal, and it doesn't mean they have to agree, and I, nor do I want them to agree. I mean, I, I need someone who's going to bring in different ideas. Um, one of the things that has been our best attribute probably can work against us a little bit is we're together so long that sometimes you don't get the outside ideas in that you would like to and so I need to hire someone who's got some fresh ideas um, that will mix with what we're doing well here right now and so um, that's who I'm looking for or what I'm looking for as to when yesterday so uh, but that doesn't that's not the way it works and, and so Heather and I have to have more conversations about how quickly we can get that going and, and um, that will take place over the next week or so hopefully we can get something lined up where a timeline to, to start moving on that.